Hi, it's Amy with Mama Bear Blue. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome and be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos uploading. So I have been a little obsessed lately with milk paint, especially in the color green. <laughs> so I'm going to be taking a thrifted find today, a sofa table that I found at my local restore and giving it a makeover with Sweet Pickens Milk Paint and giving you some milk paint tips along the way. Let's get started. This sofa table was in great shape. It just needed cleaned up a bit. And then I put a base coat of DIY paint in the color a little black dress. My plan is to use Sweet Pickens Milk Paint on this sofa table and I want it to chip. And when it chips, I want this black layer to show through. DIY paint is a clay-based chalk paint and it is very easy to use with milk paint. So I chose this pretty green color by Sweet Pickens called In A Pickle. Milk paint comes powdered and I just added it to some warm water a little at a time, mixing it with a plastic fork until the consistency is about like a melted milkshake. I don't mind if there's a few paint chunks left after mixing it with the plastic fork. I'm wanting this to have a chippy look, so that doesn't bother me. But if you don't want it to look as chippy, you would need to use an immersion blender to blend the paint. And also you can use a product called Extra Bond that Sweet Pickens makes. You can add a few drops or a little bit to the paint mixture and that will help it not be as chippy. It really depends on the look you're going for. And then I'm just going to start applying the Sweet Pickens Milk Paint to the sofa table. I'm going to let the first coat dry before applying the second coat. If you want to speed up that process a bit, you can use a heat gun. A heat gun will actually help it be a bit more chippy. It's at that time that I apply the second coat that you'll really see some of the chippiness start to appear. Milk paint gives that really time-worn farmhouse style look that I love. For all the products I'm using here today, the paint, the brushes, and the waxes, you can visit my website, mamabearblue.com. And this is the chippiness that started to appear after the second coat. This is exactly the look I was going for. And I used my hand a little bit in some spots and then I used a fine grit sandpaper and I just started sanding to get all the flaky extra chips that were coming up. I just used a light hand in most spots just to get it to chip down to the DIY paint black layer and I did go ahead and get my orbital sander out after this and some spots went a little deeper down into the wood as you can see there. It gave a really nice aged look overall. Next I put one coat of DIY paint clear wax followed by one coat of the DIY paint dark wax and I wipe back any excess. The Sweet Pickens Milk Paint is a very durable paint and it gives a very smooth finish. I absolutely love how this turned out and I am in love with this green color. So this piece is staying at my house for a while. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below and be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you've tried out milk paint lately, let me know how it went. I'll see you next time. Bye.